Welcome to Slash Bash, where today I am bringing you another Entitled Parents Reddit video. In our first story, oh, you want him to clean up your mess? Allow me. Let's jump right in. A thing just happened that I am unable to write about yet, but the encounter involved a woman I could have sworn I'd seen at the dog park before and couldn't recall when. I just connected the dots and recalled where I'd seen her before, and here we are. At my dog park, people tend to come at the same times, meaning if you keep going at the same times, you'll get to know the regulars. One of the regulars is a fellow named Frankie, and he comes to the park every morning at 8 a.m. with the queen of the dog park, a retired racing greyhound named Lady. Lady serves as a greeter to all humans, breaks up scuffles before they can escalate, and scares off marauding motorcycles, muscle cars, and big rig trucks. The thing about Lady's owner Frankie is he's old, like mid-80s old. As such, he's got age-related health issues which include arthritis in his back and knees. After watching him slowly and painfully shambling over to wherever Lady took a dump to clean up the mess, I decided I'd do him a solid and take over bagging for him whenever I was able. One morning in particular, there was a new woman in the park with a super adorable German Shepherd puppy. Like, still puppy sized, but with ears that could probably get decent satellite reception. All the dog parents are chatting and monitoring the dogs playing, and I see Lady taking a dump. When I noticed, I asked Frankie for a bag and then bagged the evidence and then gave it to him. My dog park doesn't even have trash cans. The park they built it in is carry in, carry out, and I guess the policy can't be changed for the dog park. It can get pretty fragrant in the summer. Dumb rules, but what can you do? But I digress. I resume chatting with the other dog parents and occasionally throwing the ball from my fluff when out of nowhere a manicured hand clutching a poop bag appears in front of my face, accompanied by a woman's voice saying, Here. I grab this random gift and look around for my dog, figuring someone's being a dick about telling me that my dog took a poop when he was outside my line of sight. I ask where my dog pooped and try to give the bag back, turning to look at the woman since I've got my own bags. She's a little bit older than me, but still perfectly physically sound. This woman says, Oh no, your dog didn't poop. Tucker made a stinky over in that direction and accompanies this breathtaking display of entitlement with an idle hand wave in a vague direction. I'm still not getting the picture here, so I continue holding the bag out and ask who Tucker is. She indignantly informs me that Tucker is that puppy over there, and I bagged Frankie's mess so I should bag hers. My knee-jerk reaction would have been, how about no? But I suppressed it in time and gently informed the woman that I only do that because he's a friend of mine and, well, shouldn't be bending over to bag poops anyway. Meaning no offense, but you're perfectly capable of cleaning up after your puppy and I've got no interest in doing it for you. You could see the frown on her face evolve into a thundercloud and began threatening to erupt. I had a mental bet with myself going on whether she would claim she's too busy or if she'd just go for the old reliable and start spouting off about young people lacking respect, despite me being maybe five years younger than her. Before she can get herself worked up into a proper tantrum, Frankie starts doing that cackle that's unique to old men. You know the one I'm talking about, I hope. The same sound that emits from Grandpa after he's found a grandchild who is foolish enough to actually pull his finger. As he's cackling, he's levering himself out of the lawn chair he presides over the dog park from and limps over to snatch the bag from my hand. He says, I've helped him out enough, time for him to help me. Then he makes his way over to wherever it was that Tucker left his stinky. The whole time you can practically hear his bones creaking. He's hobbling and limping and quite clearly in some pain from doing this. He arrives at the scene of the crime and then slowly, painfully, creakily, did I mention slowly, bends down and bags the surprisingly large turd Tucker left. He then shambles back down towards the group with the biggest crap-eating grin on his face and holds the brown gold out to the woman and says, here you go. By this point, the woman's face is bright red from mortification 
and she snatches the bag from Frankie and scurries off to scoop up her puppy and flee the scene. By the time Frankie's maneuvered his old bones back into his throne, the woman has burned out of the parking lot and off into the distance. Italian Alice, named such because there's two women named Alice who have dogs from the same litter which are effectively identical. They look fairly similar too, and woe betide to the poor soul who confuses Italian Alice with Greek Alice, looks at Frankie and says, You sandbagging son of a gun, I know you're old, but you're not that old. Frankie starts cackling again and says, I know that, you know that, but she didn't know that. Story number two, entitled father steals money as payment for a good deed. I thought it would be a few months since I had another entitled parent encounter, but less than a week since my last one, it happened again. I was working on the tills at my supermarket serving customers during the school rush. It's around 4 p.m. I had just got done serving an elderly gentleman and was now serving a middle-aged man and his daughter. The previous customer was stood to the side putting away his loyalty card and bank card when I noticed he had dropped his bank card instead of putting it away. The father who I was serving, now referred to as Entitled Dad, quickly ran over and grabbed his card. I assumed he was going to return it, but instead he ran back to the till and tapped the old man's card on the reader to pay for his shopping. If I remember right, it was about 17 pounds before grabbing his items and running after the old man. The entire process happened in about three seconds. Once the card is tapped, I can't abort it. I assumed he was turning to tell me he would be right back or to hand the card to me, but he tapped and left. I had no customers after Entitled Dad, so I approached the two as they were talking and overheard the Entitled Dad saying, you dropped your card back there, mate. Can't be losing that. He then promptly handed over the card and turned to walk away. I intervened and told the old man that the entitled dad had used his card to pay for his shopping. I also waved to our on-duty security guard to stop the entitled dad, which he did. Myself and the old man walked down to the entitled dad and I asked him to stay put while I called a manager down. The entitled dad played dumb, spouting, you have no right to stop me. I need to get my daughter home. This is false imprisonment, etc. Once the manager arrived, I explained what had happened and this scumbag of a person had the audacity to say, I could have kept his card and used it a lot more. Is that what you want me to do? He shouldn't be complaining about crap. I only used a bit. He then turned to the old man and said something equally disgusting. Just consider it compensation for giving it back to you. At this point, the old man was asking if he could get his money back. I headed back to my till and printed a copy of the last receipt, took the old man to the customer service desk, got his transaction refunded, and he was happy to leave it there. He didn't want to press charges for theft or anything like that. We made the entitled dad pay for his shopping, and then he stormed off. And yes, he is now banned from the store. This is John from Slash Bash. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video and want to be the first to know when the next one drops, then subscribe and click on that notification bell. I would love for you to drop a like, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one.